But, but okay, let's get into the news. Unfortunately, Dan Hooker, one of our favorite fighters from New Zealand, he got injured. No, it's a shame. It's a big shame. Dan, heal up, mate. Um, it, take your time. Yeah, take your time. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the fight itself, Bobby Green, Dan Hooker, it needs to still happen at some point. I that agree. is a dream fight for me. Like I love both those guys. I love both their styles. I love what they bring to the cage um, every single time that they step into it. And yeah, I just think Dan Hooker didn't give himself time to heal up. Yeah, um, I agree. I mean, it wasn't all that long since he fought Jalen Turner and, and had that, that nasty uh, wrist break, I think it was. And then, yeah, he he posted something up on his, on his Instagram this week showing that he's been doing some hard sparring and it's broken in the exact same spot. Mm. Um. So yeah, it's just kind of not healed. No, he's yeah. I mean, for anyone, uh, for this to happen to anyone, it's the least ex- uh, it's the least surprising that it's happened to Dan Hooker because yeah. he is an animal. He is like, an animal. Dan is built different, and I'm not surprised that he broke his arm and went back to training maybe a little bit too <laughs> early because yeah. he's a crazy man yeah. in the, all the best ways. Um, it surprised me more that he pulled out of the fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, I, I thought he would have just not. Yeah, surely you just. You know, if anyone's going to do it, probably Dan Hooker. Danny. Fight with a broken arm. Yeah. Fake it. Um, it's a, it is, it's a shame. It is a real big shame. But, um, you know, yeah, he'll, he'll rest up. He'll be back. And, uh, yeah, like you say, it's got to happen, this fight. Yeah. It's a bit of a dream fight. It um, is. It's a good, it's a really, really good matchup. And they're both at, like, you know, I don't want to, like, they're it's not at, like, yeah, they're both at similar points in their careers, you know? Yeah. Um, they've both done, I think, their most impressive stuff in the sport. But lately, in the last couple of years, they've both made a bit more of a name for themselves. They've had yes. some exciting performances. And they are still looking like threatening guys, you know, at that at the point in the division that they're in, which, you know, yep. they're around the 10, 11 mark um, in the rankings, both of them, I think. Yeah. Somewhere around yep. there. Um, so there is a, a chance for, for one of these guys to still make one last little run to the top. Yep. Um, <clears throat> no, absolutely. So, yeah, pinning them up against each other was... Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mm. It's gonna be such a great fight. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was. It was. I was super hyped. Next weekend, it was supposed to be. And mm. um, like, yeah, like you say, they've kind of done their best stuff. But they've, well, they, you know, they're not going to be title challenges. It's very unlikely that they're going to get a title in no. their. Um, there's going to be a title in their picture, but they're in a twilight of their career, and they're still and, mixing it up with the best. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, <clears throat> uh, especially. Um, Bobby Green, he's had like this is like the best point of his career. Like yeah. he's he's really just gone coming in. off that one against Ferguson. Yeah, submission Ferguson one, and then he got that first round knockout against um Boo. Uh, sorry, uh, Dawson. Grant yep. Dawson. That was super impressive. He's vi- violent, powerful. That's a good a little, bit, a little bit crazy in the head. He's a little in bit a crazy in the head, but that's I think you've got to have that to be a you successful do. Uh, successful fighter nowadays. And I mean, they've both uh recently fought Islam Makachev. And um, they're both kind of <laughs> the exact same thing kind yeah, of happened to them. Yeah. Not so, surprising. No. But yeah, they they are both really stylistically it's a it's a fun matchup. So yeah, it is. I'm yeah, I'm disappointed. Jalen Turner stepping up to uh now take the bag. Yeah, absolutely. I mean one person loses the opportunity, unfortunately, due to injury. Another person gets an opportunity to, you know, turn his um his luck around because obviously it was a razor close fight against Tucker. Oh that was a war. Uh, Potential fight of the year. Yeah, honestly, honestly. Um, for me, I would say it is, it is my probably fight of the is year. right now. Yeah, I'm can't think of anything else. I'm gonna say it's my fight of the year. Uh, so, <laughs> so, far. Far. So, so far, so far, so far, so far, so far. We've still got a month left of uh, of year. Little bitty bobs. We do. We've got a few more fight nights. I actually think there's only like three left. Um. Not very much. Not, not not many. Not, not many. Not many, if any. Not many. If Shout any. out to Scribe. Um, not many, if any. Is that him? Yeah. Uh, but you know, no. Jalen Turner versus um <clears throat> versus Bobby Green. That will be a very good fight. Two dangerous guys with knockout power, with flair. Um, both out there to scrap mm. in style, mm. tough, durable. Yeah, they both going to put on a show. Yeah. I, I, what are your early predictions for that? Obviously, we'll be breaking that down later, but um, what what would be your early predictions for that? I, I've got to go with my guy, 
Bobby the girl with Bo- Bobby King, King. the Bobby King Green, the King. Um, the one. He's just only. had more time to prepare. Um, and like I say, I think he's looking quite good. Like Tony Ferguson, obviously, isn't in the best part of his career, but say coming up a win, you know, like he didn't look too bad. They uh, they had a pretty decent scrap. He looked good in the first round. Tony definitely yeah. did. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, so I think Bobby Green. And beating Dawson in the first round like that is super impressive. He's got like, the coolest head movement going yeah. on, bro. Like he's <clears throat> he's so swift with the way that he that he moves. It's 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 a really exciting guy to watch. It is. Um. So it is going to be a shame when he eventually retires. Cause it will. It won't. Like it. It's. I. I see him fighting on a little while, but yeah. It's. It's not going to be too long until he hangs up the gloves, papers off. Yeah. And puts on the boots. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Honestly, I, I'm going to go the other way. I think Jalen Turner is going to take this one, and I think he's going to get a finish in the first round. I really mm-hmm. do. I think Turner's probably fired up after his last performance. Uh, obviously, he did well early, and then he kind of gassed, and Hooker was able to really turn it on. But I think that Jalen should have won that fight. Like, I think Dan deserved to get the decision, mm-hmm. but Turner should have won that. I think yeah. he is the more, more technically gifted fighter, and if he just stuck to a game plan and didn't, you know... Didn't fight Hooker at his own yeah. at his own game. Yeah, exactly. Um, 100%. Man, that, that freeze frame of Hooker just eating that head kick. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible, man. Like I know. And if he'd just been kind of okay, like, right, I'm going to win this, but I'm going to have to win it by decision. I'm mm-hmm. not putting him away. If I try to put him away, I might gas. And, you know, that's what happened. He's six for three, for it's God's sake. It's huge, like, Yeah, it's, it's nuts. It's taller than me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm it's a not like he's small. Like like, he's quite big. Yeah. Uh, yeah, crazy. I've seen him next to Hamza and like because they they uh, I think they do some when work did you together. I uh, just hang out with those guys sometimes. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, they're yeah, like the same height much. and like build wise, they're like the same. It's kind of invite me around next time. So well, I haven't met these guys. These so guys are kind of just like my friend. I don't know if you yeah, gel no. with these. These are like different kind of. No, people. I get it. Like I do have a bit of a different personality, so I understand when people. I don't think you and Hamza would get along. That's fair. I really don't. I just think that you know, him being more like calm and relaxed, and you yeah. being more like ah, oh, kill everybody, <laughs> smash everybody. Yeah, that's me. It's that's me. yeah, that's you, and he's just more like sitting in a chair doing a podcast kind of thing. So. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll introduce you at some point for yeah. sure. Um. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Did you just not? Maybe. <laughs> no. Um, I didn't. Uh, anyway. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for watching this short episode of Combat Corner. If you like what you see, we've got lots of long form content below and lots of other videos like this. So feel free to go along and check it out. We really appreciate all your support. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, share it around. Have a good day. Peace.